beginning three years ago, when a hero by the name of Sion shut the gates of hell, the gates unexpectedly opened and let loose a great number of demons. Then, three months later, it is revealed that Tuka, a teenage lad, is cultivating in his garden in a rural village called Chasa. Even placing socks in the radish, Tuka appears fairly wicked. Yuna, a girl who was formerly his childhood friend, attempts to correct him. Yuna is upset when Tuka continues to act pervertedly. Yuna has always been proud of a young hero who can defeat monsters and protect the planet from harm. Tuka is bored with Yuna's praise of a hero and only concentrates on farming at home. However, Tuka is enamored with Yuna's attractive body and unintentionally places socks on Yuna's thighs. Yuna is displeased with Tuka's behavior and believes that he won't be able to defend himself when the devil appears. But Tuka has instead prepared a trap for the devil close to his home. When the devil unexpectedly attacks their village and appears to be in great need, Tuka makes an effort to find a solution to save Yuna. The monster rejects Tuka's attempts to seduce it with the scent of cooked pork. Yuna also gives Tuka a grating expression, but immediately the hero Cyan appears, instantly destroying the devil. All the villagers praise Zeon's skills, and Yuna thanks him. It turns out that Zeon remembers Yuna, whom he saved several years earlier, which makes Yuna happy. On the other hand, Takia is very irritated to see Yuna gazing at Cyan. Then, all of a sudden, everyone hears a strange sound that turns out to be coming from Sion's stomach because he is hungry. However, Cyan accidentally falls Tuka made a stand in defense of himself, claiming that the hero perishes in a ridiculous trap, posing a threat to the villagers' safety, necessitating the need to cover up the tragedy. The next morning Tuka wakes up and suddenly his body changes into Zeon the hero took a visit to Yuna's house. And Yuna is surprised to see the hero back to life Tuka sees Yuna's admiration for the hero and tries to use it to order Yuna to wear sexy clothes. Unfortunately, someone was watching them at the funeral. The villagers, including Tuka, try to bury Sion in the cemetery so that outsiders. Yuna likes the way the hero is staring at her with passion but she punches him after his eyeballs accidentally fall out because she thinks the hero is a monster because of the horrible stench he has. Cyan reveals to Yuna that he is Tuka, and she begins to believe him when he shares the information. Yuna finally comes to the conclusion that it is Tuka, and it is possible that the use of magic caused Tuka's body to change into Sion. From behind Tuka's house, they hear a voice from a girl named Henry. She is the witch who changed Tuka into Sion's body, but unintentionally. Anri almost fell into a trap set by Takia at night. Anri wants to watch Tuka who entered Sion's body, but Henry instead falls from A. Tuka finally agrees to Henry's request to save the world. They travel to a large city where they discover that Henry really despises the adventure. However, hearing a group of girls greet him upon arrival makes him happy. They then stop at a tool store where they discover that Yuna likes the magic tools there, but they are very expensive. When Tuka asks the team for money, Henry replies that they don't have any. Since their funds are running low, Tuka instructs them Henry and Chen Medicaine from three years prior. But Henry objects that Anri is not allowed to meet the king because it is against the law. Yuna cautions them that taking advantage of someone's compassion is not nice and even gives them advice on how to make money from it after Magic demonstrates his hero's charisma till they finally get to eat for free. When a group of girls from the Adventurer's Guild arrives to invite Tuka to play, they suspect him to be a fake hero because of how bad he smells. One of the girls orders the large guard to investigate. It turns out that the guard has previously engaged in combat with the hero, and the guard now collects his promise to do so once more. The guard accuses Takia of being a fake hero who draws people to him while in the Adventurer's Guild. Yuna gets a job. Kyle, the hero's right-hand man and a member of a noble family, arrives after Yuna kills a demon. Kyle goes there because he has a job offer from the guild, and Tuka initially hesitates, but considering he is in a hero's body and has a sword, he might. Tuka tries to defend himself, but the offensive odor makes everyone suspect that they have stolen the swords of other imposter heroes who had arrived. Kyle then arrives and begins to assist Tuka. Tuka is already understood by Kyle, who wants to help him. If Tuka is a true hero, the blade instantly enlarges, but the point is bent, as Tuka is instructed to do. Yuna also agrees that if Tuka kills more demons than anyone else, Tuka will be hailed as a true hero. However, Takeda is skeptical of Tuka's ability to do so, and Tuka also accuses Henry of being default for Cyan's foul body odor and bent sword. Tuka's strength, in Henry's opinion, is so poor that he can't keep his body in good shape and his sword bent. Henry uses a magic stone to demonstrate how powerful he is, but Eunice's and his magic power are both incredibly weak. 
Kyle advises him to use Sion's body rather than the feeble Tuka. Kyle's suggestion is accepted by Tuka and Yuna, but Henry declines because Sion vowed to use his body to inherit someone of like strength or whoever killed Sion. We'll find out whether Kyle kills Tuka in the upcoming episode, as he also believes that Sion's body would be his if he can murder Tuka. This immediately causes Tuk to fear. Has the Ushigashinda anime's plot intrigued you enough to keep you interested? If so, check out the most recent video on our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Wait till you view the most recent video on our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.